In this video, we're going to get started with AG Grid and React. We're going to install a sample project and add grid features until we have a full-fledged application. Now, before we get started, there's a couple of prerequisites. You'll need to have Git installed and configured, as well as Node and NPM. That way we can grab the code as well as all of our packages for the sample application. So I'm going to head to my command line. To get started, we're going to want to go ahead and install our sample project. We can do that through Git using git clone and then the path to the project. Now this project is at github.com forward slash ag hyphen grid forward slash ag hyphen grid hyphen react hyphen seed. Now you can grab this entire path from the description of the video instead of having to type it all out. I'm going to hit enter as we clone our application. With our application cloned, we can now change directories into the application with cd ag hyphen grid hyphen react hyphen seed forward slash react. Now we're going to want to install our dependencies. We can install those with npm i. Now that we have everything installed, we can start our application with npm start. As you can see, our sample application automatically opened up in our browser. Now let's take a look at the code. I'm going to open up this project in my text editor. Let's open up our source folder where we can open up our simple grid example.jsx file. Here you can see we're importing React as well as our AG grid React component. In addition, you'll also see that we're setting our column definitions as well as our row data in our state. Before we check out the column definitions, let's check out our row data defined with create row data. I'm going to scroll down until we see create row data. And here you can see that we simply just have an array of objects. At a very minimum, a grid requires both row data and column definitions. You can see that the row data here is simply just an array of objects where the different properties will be mapped to our column definitions. If we scroll up, we can see our column definitions are defined as an array of objects. For our grid to show up correctly, we need both a header name as well as a field in our column definitions. You can see that the header name is the display of the header where the field corresponds with a property name in our row data. As long as we have a header name and a field with a corresponding row property, we'll see our grid working correctly. Now let's scroll down to see how we render our grid. Here you can see we're simply just using the AG grid react component. You can see we're defining our columns with the column devs prop where we're setting that to the data declared above as well as the row data prop which is set to the row data. In addition, we also have an event which is on grid ready. This will fire after our grid is ready. Now once more, let's take a look at our actual application while running. And as you can see, we have our columns that match up with our column definitions as well as our rows. So we're up and running with our column definitions and our rows. Now let's see how we can easily add sorting to this grid. To add sorting, we simply just need to head to our AG grid react component and add in the prop of enable sorting. Simply by having enable sorting here, it sets the prop to true. Now if we head back to our application, you can see nothing much has changed until that is we click on one of our columns. If we'd like to sort by which of these is the most expensive, we can click price. You'll notice at first sort, it's sorting by the cheapest to the most expensive. If we select this again, it's now going to show us the opposite. So just like that, without doing anything other than adding one prop, we now have sorting onto this entire grid. Now what's great about this, it's also going to sort our text fields, such as model or make. The price is sorted numerically and our text fields are sorted alphabetically. So what are some other cool features we can add to this grid? Well, in a real world application, you may have hundreds or even hundreds of thousands of rows and potentially many columns as well. Luckily for us, AG Grid makes it really easy to add filtering. We simply just need to head back to our component where we can add another prop, which is simply just enable filter. With enable filter here, we'll instantly have access to filtering in our grid. Let's head back to our application and see it in action. 
Now, when we hover over any of our headers, you can see that we have a hamburger menu to the right. If we select that, it's going to open up our filter menu. You'll see we have options such as equals, not equal, starts with, ends with, contains, and not contains. Let's go ahead and leave this as contains and start typing. I'm going to type Celica. As you can see, after getting a couple of characters in, our models have filtered down and the Celica is the only row that's shown. And we also have a filtering icon in the header to let us know that this data has been filtered by this particular column. So as you can see, it's really simple to get started with AG Grid in React, where you can filter, sort, and even more with your data. We've only scratched the surface as what you can do with the grid. Check out our documentation on our website to see everything that AG Grid has to offer.